So just recently some set photos leaked showing us a first look at the Shazam costume that Shazam will wear in the upcoming movie called, I think it's called Shazam? After a lot of divisive films in the DCEU, this movie has the potential to be a game changer. I know that people say that every time there's a new DC movie, and that is a fair point, but regardless, here's why Shazam changes everything for the DCEU. If you're new to the channel, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with our new videos. First off, there is a possibility that Shazam could redeem one of Justice League's worst and most awkward scenes. If you remember, the movie started with some smartphone footage of some kids interviewing Superman. It was a little uncomfortable and Superman had a weird mouth and it was like, oh, okay, this is, this is how we're starting this. Well, there's a fan rumor circulating that one of the kids interviewing Superman is actually Billy Batson. That's the kid that yells Shazam and turns into Shazam. Billy Batson is a kid reporter in the comics, so that could work out really well. So that kind of awkward Justice League scene would take on a whole new depth and kind of become the moment that Billy Batson met his inspiration in person. For a couple of years now, DC films have been like, oh, the people, they love Superman. But we haven't really seen that other than a couple of featured extras. Showing things from Billy Batson's perspective could actually bring a whole new layer to that idea. There's also an opportunity to redeem that terrible CGI mustache thing by getting Henry Cavill to reshoot the scene. Also having a main character that's a kid opens up a lot of doors for DC. Kind of like how Spider-Man Homecoming brought us into the world of the Avengers from the perspective of a teenager, Shazam can show us the crazy world of DC through the eyes of a kid. And that brings with it all the modern stuff like smartphones and vlogging and whatever it is kids do these days. Is Vine 2 out yet? Another thing that Shazam will change for the DCEU is to make things a little more, for lack of a better word, fun. One of the big criticisms of DC films so far is that they're super dark and serious and gloomy, a bunch of grown-ups in costumes being very sad and very mad. We saw some attempts at a course correction in that regard in Justice League, but that basically amounted to Joss Whedon popping in and sprinkling in some one-liner jokes that didn't quite land. Shazam is hopefully going to change that. First off, the concept of a child who takes the form of a superhero is inherently funny, kind of like if Big was on steroids. There's a lot of opportunity for some really funny moments, and Shazam director David F. Sandberg took to Reddit to say that it's not going to be just a bunch of quips and one-liners, but it will be funny. Even Mark Strong, who plays the villain in Shazam, said this, I think DC have realized that they've got their canon of films that are dark, and they've now found one that's pretty funny. There are some really funny moments in it. It also helps that they cast Zachary Levi in the role of Shazam. He's no stranger to mixing action with funny stuff after five seasons of starring in NBC's Chuck. And now let's talk about villains. Marvel may be known for having a villain problem, but DC hasn't been too great in that regard either. General Zod was pretty awesome, but after him we got Mickey Mouse Lex Luthor, a giant mutated General Zod, a dancing witch with a sky beam, and a couple of dudes in armor with big medieval style weapons. Things haven't been great. In Shazam we're gonna get Dr. Savannah, who's pretty much a stereotypical evil scientist, but in the New 52 comics he had an accident that lets him see magical energy with the naked eye. So everybody might see Shazam as this big awesome hero, but Savannah is gonna be able to see the kid be behind it all. There's definitely a risk that they fall into the generic evil villain trap with this film, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because Mark Strong is strong. Let me know in the comments section if you're looking forward to Shazam and how you think it'll compare to other DC films. If you're watching this video on our Facebook page, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. You can also check out ScreenRant.com for the latest movie and TV news. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.